short video um, about the Antec Veris premiere. Um, I saw how some people were sending me um, comments on how to get the volume started. If you guys are having issues with your volume, I recommend that you make sure that all your plugs and hardware are plugged in, first of all. Secondly, um, make sure that you follow the instructions in installing it 100%. Then, what you want to do is make sure you have everything on your computer updated from your hardware to your software, along with your operating system. Um, I did make a video on Service Pack 1 for Windows 7, so you can go ahead and try to get that updated. Then, what you want to do is, oops, I was watching, I don't call it this, but um, you want to go, I'm going to give this link in the description. If you can't update the software automatically, like it hasn't actually updated yet, I have a link so you can download it off of my um, SkyDrive manually. And um, this is the actual entire program. What I'll do is go ahead and just make a temporary file for you real quick. But um, it, um, it, in, it wipes your old one off, so don't worry about um, you know, having extra files on your computer gets rid of the old software for the iMunt and Varus, and it works 100%. And um, I'll show you that I'm using it here. See, there it is, 8.02, and this one is the 8.00. When it sees that this is the um, the eighth version, it'll automatically update it this little piece right here because during installation it automatically updates during installation but this is the current installation if that makes sense it's like if you update your it's like if you upgrade your operating system during installation it'll update the files if that makes sense but anyway yeah um, I'll even show you how it works uh, let's see See, I can still do a lot of things. Um, I don't know if you can hear the little sound every time I click up or down. So my sound is still working with it, and it's updated. I had that exact same problem when I first started off. I was using Windows 7, 64-bit, Ultimate. See that? Ultimate Service Pack 1, 64-bit. Uh, and yeah, it works for me. So um, I'm pretty uh, pretty faithful when it comes back to people sending me comments and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to keep that good reputation by um, replying back to everyone's comments. What I'll probably do is link this as a uh, video in relevance instead of it actually being an entire video by itself like my other videos so that way everybody can click on it as they're looking at that current video and reading the comments um, it's almost done here it's a pretty big I mean it's not a big file but it's it's got some size on it um, in a few minutes I'll show you that is the entire installation when I can actually open up the folder I'm not going to install it because like you saw there, I have the actual updated current one. Um, see? And here you go, you would just click on Setup. And uh, it'll first look for your... Um, it's going to... Let's see. See, it's going to ask, do you want to completely remove all selected applications and all its features? It's talking about iMon. It's not talking about any other programs on your computer. It's talking about the iMon. 